Hello Tube, this is part 5 of my install. Right now we've got everything hooked up other than the breakers. I still got the temporary breakers. Waiting for the mail. I ordered two breakers from uh, Alt E. Uh, ordered a um, 100 amp double throw breaker. And I ordered um, a 30 amp uh, breaker for the solar side. Well, as you can tell, they haven't showed up yet, so I don't have the boxes and stuff for those mounted. So I don't have those in yet. All right. Um, right now, my entire shed is running off the pip. Got it set right there, and I can show you on on the pip. Everything's still running on there. There you go. If you see here, 230. That's what we're putting out right now. Once it hits 249, that's grid volts. Once those two are matched up, then I'm running off the grid. But right now we're running straight off the pip, as you can tell here. All right, you see the little AC signal there. It have a line coming across, showing me that I'm pulling power from the uh, the AC side. All right. I'll sh should have showed you some of this earlier today. Uh, I'll show you more of the software side of it whenever I get into it. All right. All right. Let's show you the input transformer. And how this is working. Alright. Get over here where I can see. Still gotta do something with all this networking cable. There we go. So zoom out here. I don't know why I zoomed in. Alright, this is the mains breaker coming in from the breaker panel outside at the telephone pole. Okay. I got a double double throw 30 amp. 30 amps all I need for this circuit for the, the shed. I don't use anything over that. So we got 10 gauge ran for that for 240. Alright. Won't touch any of them because they are live. Alright, that's my ground right here. Alright. That's my in. And this is my output down here at the bottom. They come in. And as you can tell the neutral wire doesn't connect anywhere here. It just comes straight on through the small little piece of pipe. All right, little junction pipe there comes in the back side here. Neutral line comes down, goes to the neutral bus bar. I got one 20 amp plug, which is that right there. So if I ever want to run a welder, that's what that's for. <coughs> this and I got set up just in case I want to hook my air conditioner back up and run it off here. But right now I found that it actually runs pretty good on the. Uh, on the pip it draws about uh, about a thousand watts so we'll get her going good this summer and we'll see how much she runs all right this is a double throw 20 doesn't really need to be that big or a double throw 30 going to the massive transformer up here at top it don't really need to be that big for that it don't draw that much power coming off that all right so but those the red and black line there come up and they go up here into the transformer. All right, coming from this goes into the top lugs of this small breaker box. All right, now we're inside of the uh, transformer. You tell we do have a neutral line in. All right, and neutral line out. Okay, this neutral line here goes all the way over to that box there, and you see the white line. That's neutral. That's just one neutral leg. There's a black line in there, that's the hot leg. You connect those two together, you get 240 volts, single phase, but you have an actual hot and you have a neutral and then also ground. All right, inside of here, that's how that's hooked up. This is the center tap. Well, actually, two wires are wired together, and I showed you that up here. This is the high voltage side output. And then there's a black line in here also where that's done to as well. None of this should be hot since I, well, it's hot, but everything's all nicely bound up. All right. Get all these over here. There's a red line and a black line there coming in from the breaker box. All this stuff on this side is 240 volt split phase, but I don't have the neutral going to the split phase. Don't need it. All I got is just a 240 run to it. And if you look up here, 240, you, here's those, here's uh, X2, X3. You splice those two together, and then you get your power off X1, X4. And that's how that's wired up. There's X1, X4 going into the transformer. All right, the output of my transformer, which is over here, 
Okay, we got this right wired up also for 240. We got H1, H3 wired in parallel. And we got H2, H4 wired in parallel. So they're wired together. Let's see, <coughs> H1, H3, and then H2, H4 is wired straight to the neutral here. So it will remain neutral. Neutral is going down into the breaker box. I don't need it, but it does. It gives me a better path, and it works better. It doesn't really matter. I don't, probably don't have to hook it up, but I did anyhow. That way I know for a fact that that remains neutral. All right, and then that goes into, comes out of the transformer over that breaker box. Okay. Get around my mess here. Trust me, I got a lot to clean up after this install. I got wire cuts, cuttings everywhere, as you can tell. Big wire mess over here. All right. All right, first breaker box before we go into the pip. All right, like I said earlier, this is a uh, eight or six gauge, six gauge coming from over there, going in. All right, the thick wires are my six gauge. And I got just ten gauge from here, and this is a twenty amp breaker. And that's what the pip calls for. Twenty amp comes down into the pip, and I've showed you this before in another video. The top one's your input, bottom one's your output. And my output comes out of there, comes back through another piece of hose or piece of uh, flexible conduit. And it comes in this box. Of course, I don't have that opened up for you to see it because it basically it's wired the exact same way. All right, since that's my output, just like coming from the transformer, it goes to the top binding post. Output comes out of the breaker, which then goes into this small breaker box there. And then out of that breaker box, we come down, feed in, this is all three quarter inch, all right, and we come down here, all right, right now this is my output, I just wired this up today so I don't have everything crammed inside yet, got wire twist nuts on there, this is the exact same thing wiring as the other system, as the other transformer, all right, this is my out output, but I want 240 volt split phase, and if you look on here, 120 slash 240 that's your 240 volt split phase and the way you do this you connect x2 to x3 so you wire those you know you put a wire nut on those and you take a wire off there all right and here's your uh connections here x1 which then x2 is your uh x2 and 3 wired together and x4 so x4 to x1 is 240 x1 to x2 120 x2 to x4 120 so there's your 240 volt split phase okay and i've got it wired for 240 volt input which is this one's up here and all i have is h1 and h3 wired together h2 and h4 wired together and you bring your taps off of h1 h4 all right those lines there are connected to the wire coming out of that breaker box Ooh, got us a little bee they're waking up and it goes inside of here. All right, and then from this box, goes through another piece of small conduit. All right, comes up in behind everything, and comes into the ma master box here for the pip on all my circuits. I've got a small breaker up there. It's a 50 amp. That's going to be coming out of there. And I'm going to be running a small circuit from here all the way into my house i'm going to put a small breaker box in there for like some lighting and maybe the fridge and deep freeze all right and the major power comes in at the top there's neutral up there and my ground's down here at the bottom all right so far this is how we got it all wired up um right now yes i got 10 gauge and you're like 10 gauge and then six gauge wire well, in the future, this stuff's all going to move. My shed really doesn't use a lot of power. I've only using 600 watts in the shed. All this wire will handle up to 4,000 watts plus. So this is what we got going on right now. So we really don't need anything bigger than what we've got. Uh, breakers, most of them are bigger than what I need. Uh, I've got a 30 amp double throw setting at the pole and plus another 30 amp double throw right there so it don't matter really what these breakers are if anything really gets over loaded that breaker a trip first so all right if you think about that 60 amps total i can use 30 amps on each leg as long as it's balanced all right so that's 60 amps i gotta play with but not everything's going to be on at the same time so we don't have to worry about if i'm using you know 
100 amps, which ain't going to never happen, or all 60 amps, never ain't, it's never going to happen. I mean, welder, 20 amps, 120. So that leaves me 40 amps left over for everything else. Uh, same way with the air conditioner, that's a 20 amp double throw. You know, still 20 amp plus the air conditioner, that still leaves me 0 amps technically, but you know, your motor's going to kick up. And the only reason why I got the double 20s up there, and that's for the heating system on there, that actually uses 4 kilowatt. But since AC only uses about a kilowatt, so it's not really going to use that. It'll probably use 10 amps tops, you know, maybe 15. So we got more than enough room there. Plus my lighting and stuff, of course, it ain't going to use 15 amps a piece. So I got two, two 15s here, and then I got a two 15s there. And I got a 20 amp there for another 20 amp plug that used to be for my uh, welder as well. Uh, one day in the future, I might actually uh, try welding off this machine. But that's pretty much that. Alright. That's the wiring for this. Um, it goes out the wall there to a piece of conduit. And that goes down and underground. Used to come in there, which now we got to get that all sealed up and cleaned up. Other than that, YouTube, uh, I hope this answers any questions on how this stuff's wired up. Um, this transformer just on standby uses anywhere between 50 to 100 watts by itself all right it all depends on how cold it is and warm so about 100 watts by itself uh, it's about a half amp at 240 volts so i mean it's really not bad all right um that guy there uses some power 200 240 watts why i don't know uh that uses copper i looked these transformers up this one uses aluminum so i don't know if it's just with their construction or what it is but yeah one uses a little more so we're actually going to try to work on something uh, a small box that can fit there with a relay where the power from the relay goes in from this goes to the relay and then to this that way when this system's running off grid it shuts this transformer off and the only time that transformer would need to be on is to charge my battery bank all right well that's pretty much it youtube um pip's been running good uh today for the last eight hours i've been running off directly nothing but solar uh we're still running on solar so all right guys i'll show you more on this install later uh, this is part five um maybe in part six i can hopefully get my breakers put in so i can get me a box put in there for my solar and um breaker box for my uh battery uh breakers so hopefully those get in soon so we can get those installed and until then i'm going to button up all these boxes because there's no longer any need for them to be left open so we're going to clean that up close that up close all these uh boxes up we're going to clean the mess up in the shed and uh, talk to you YouTubers later. All right. Bye.